Welcome back to Head Start. Now, Energy Secretary Alfonso Cusi and representatives from the International Atomic Agency will be visiting the Bataan nuclear power plant today. Cusi has said he is in favor of reviving the power plant, even if it is expensive. But earlier this week, Senator Sherwin Gachalian came out with a statement actually warning, uh, 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 giving out a warning uh, on reviving the Bataan nuclear power plant, citing safety and cost efficiency. And joining us now is former Pangasinan Representative Mark Wanko, a fierce advocate of nuclear power. Hi, Mark, guys. thank you for Good coming morning. to the show. Can we still use the Bataan nuclear power plant? Definitely. What makes you say that? Um, if you go to the United States, in Tennessee, uh, a nuclear plant much older than BNPP and much less complete, uh, they decided to run it a few years ago. Uh, it is uh, the other night it hit 100% uh, capacity, wow. and in a week from now it will be commercially online. Okay. And so that's a good uh, benchmark. Okay. Uh, our plant is much better than that one, more modern, uh, and and our plant is 100% complete. Uh oh, yeah. what makes you so sure? I mean, just for the audience, that uh, when you say yes, we can use the BNPP. Yes, it's more complete that your statements would be credible. I mean, I mean, I, I'm curious, did you study it? Did you yes, bring I've, experts? You I've, know what uh, I mean? I've uh, firstly had a general interest in mm. uh, anything technology okay. uh, since I, I was a young boy. Yeah. And uh, when we were in exile in the United States, I would drive by a nuclear power plant mm -hmm. on the way to San Diego. Mm -hmm. And uh, no, no two thoughts about it. Uh, it provided clean and abundant and cheap electricity uh -oh. but every time nuclear power is mentioned they 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 remember japan look what yes. happened to fukushima yeah. uh fukushima actually is now my basis for explaining why uh, bnpp is very safe why because fukushima was built with a uh, design uh, factor uh, seismic design factor of 0 0.18 g okay it survived a nine earthquake without what damaged it was the tsunami, okay. not the earthquake. Okay. BNPP is designed with a 0 0.4 G, more oh. than double the design basis. Which would mean? Which would mean that if a nine earthquake were to hit uh, Morong, I uh -oh. can definitively say that nothing will happen to our BNPP. I could not, I didn't have a basis to say that before. Uh-oh. Uh, the tsunami that hit uh, Fukushima, uh, Fukushima is at 6 meters above, above sea level, BNPP is 19 meters above sea level, its generators are not in the basement, and so I can definitively say that if a tsunami the same size that hit Fukushima hits Morong, nothing will happen really? to our BNPP. Really? Really? Okay. Now, uh, I know that the Filipino people, uh, we have been paying, I mean, the BNPP is, is a white elephant, and we've been paying it for so many years, but already no, it is fully paid. Since August of 2007, okay, and so that's what triggered me uh -oh. to look into it, okay. because I was defending the budget of mm -hmm. the DOF then, Yes, yes. and uh, that's when I learned that I paid so up. So how much would we need to spend if we were going to use the Bataan nuclear power plant? About a billion dollars. Okay, uh, can we afford that? Definitely. Should we? The collection alone f from fit all that we are paying now, 10 centavos uh -oh. per kilowatt this, hour. This is for renewables. For renewable issue, yeah. energy, which is no, nowhere near com yeah. uh, comparable, uh, raises about 10 to 12 billion pesos a year. Okay. Now, uh, that amount would pay for the whole thing in less than five years. Yeah. And uh, the BNPP will produce power at 3 US cents per kilowatt hour. That's less than 1 peso and 50 cents. So where does the 10 to 12 billion pesos coming from Fit All go today? No, I'm just saying okay. that if we can afford Fit All, there's no reason we cannot afford to fix BNP. Okay, all right. So uh, we have graphics here that I want our audience to understand. Uh, I, I want you to explain this. Our first uh, graphics, can you put this? This is a tie, uh, the science tip you brought in. Yes. Uh, this, okay, explain uh, that on the log scales. This, uh, all right, fuel this, energy density. I don't see it. Okay, I yeah. know. Anyway. All right, are they, is it ready? Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah. All right, there. What is this? Um, this shows the power, the energy density of various fuels, you know, okay. from sugar, uh, coal. We're using a lot of coal. Yes. Uh, fat. Yeah, fat, uh, gasoline, and uranium. Okay. You can see that uh, uranium has uh, millions of times more energy than coal, gas, or gasoline, yeah. or diesel. Yeah. And that is the whole magic of nuclear power, yeah. that you need such a tiny amount of fuel to generate such a large amount of energy. Is, would, would nuclear power be more dangerous, let's say, than a coal plant? No, and uh, actually we could, could go to our second chart. Okay, for yeah. the second chart. Would the it be cleaner? Chart, would it be cleaner than a coal plant? Cleaner, say, uh, cleaner. Yeah. Uh, yes, yes, that's, yes. That's but let's start with this, our second chart. The okay. second chart is safer. Energy safety, yeah. okay. So you're saying nuclear power it's would be safest, safer than coal? The safest energy ever developed by humankind according to the 50-year history of nuclear power, including Chernobyl, Three Mile Island, and Fukushima. But how, this could, is it. how could one make that argument after the disasters, calamities okay. coming from... Fuku a, in Fukushima, yeah, you've explained not it. a single person died okay. or was injured because okay. of radiation. All right. In Three Mile Island, not a single person died or was injured because of radiation. In Fukushima, less than 100 died. But I would take exception to Fukushima because Fukushima is a converted weapons plant which is not done in the West. I see. And it has no doctrine of containment in its design or implementation. So in other words... Which is standard in the Western nuclear power plants. What you're saying is one cannot use Fukushima as an no, example. No, one cannot use Chernobyl okay. as an example, but sh certainly you can use Three Mile Island and Fukushima. Uh -oh. But then Fukushima, you said, was converted. So it wasn't built... No, no, built. Chernobyl. Okay, all right, Chernobyl. Yeah. So let's study first the energy safety. You said here, nuclear it's is the safest is the safest it's even safer than natural gas how, yes how could that be uh, because uh, uh, there are explosions in na natural gas plants there are asphyxiations there is pollution but even um, in solar I mean one would think what people fall off the roof uh, maintaining their solar panels it has to be cleaned regularly but how can these numbers show that that's more dangerous than a nuclear plant um, they, the, this is deaths per terawatt hour. Ah, uh, this one. These numbers. Now, these numbers are from the WHO. Yeah. So, uh, these are quite credible uh -oh. numbers. So, you're talking about 36,000 deaths. That's why I can say... Now, for oil? I'm, no, for, for coal. It's for coal. 170,000 okay, deaths. No? When you say per terawatt hour, uh, what is that? Terawatt hour is, well, you have kilowatt hour, yeah. you have megawatt hour, oh, okay. and you have how many okay. zeros per more. Uh, so is, coal has the most deaths. Yes. Now, okay. from that chart, I can say that nuclear has already saved over a million lives worth worldwide. How many countries because, in the world are... Because uh, if we build okay. a nuclear plant instead of a coal plant or an oil plant or yeah. a gas plant, then we are saving lives every year. Okay. Yeah. How many countries in the world today are using nuclear? I think it's over 30 countries. There are over 440 nuclear power plants in operation in the world today, and there are 60, more than 60 under construction and more than a hundred planned. Is it fair to say that the most powerful countries in the world are on nuclear? Yes, that is fair. Yeah. Russia, the United States, uh, France, uh, England uh, are yeah. powerful countries. Yeah. So if, if that's the case, then uh, I, I'm curious, clearly the fact that they're on nuclear as base load yes. would mean that they know it's beneficial to the country. I mean, because Definitely. Gi given if you're yeah. a superpower, you can be choosing to choose baseload any other form, but they're choosing nuclear. Yes. Uh, un unfortunately, some of the more democratic countries, uh, the anti-nuclear movement gained ground in the 60s and 70s yeah. as a re knee-jerk reaction to the establishment. Yeah. But there are, there are some uh, democratic countries like France that decided to stick to nuclear and have a lot to show for it. The cheapest power rates in Europe today is in France. The cleanest country in terms of CO2 emissions and pollution is France. Really? Yes. 
So countries that have adopted it has a lot of economic benefit and environmental benefit to show for it. Okay, your last graphic is about the lifetime emissions actually. There's a comparable study. Yeah. This is already, this is also, is this from the World Health Organization also? No, this is from the IPCC, Okay. Uh, which is the United Nations Organization. Uh -oh. All and right. nuclear is second uh, tied with uh, wind offshore wind uh, and uh, Number one is uh, wind, wind on shore, onshore. which is but very, very slightly different. different. No? Yeah, yeah. And so, and this is misleading because uh, if you look at RE, solar and wind, they really require gas as backup. Mm. Now, these uh, numbers do not reflect that, yeah. that they are tied together. But it, it comes out here that coal, it's even biomass, really it, have strong lifetime emissions. Definitely. Even uh, it, if. I, you know, what for if the coal is clean? I mean, they say if you, you know, if it's domed, like in Davao. Yeah. Clean coal is an oxymoron. Okay. So when you say clean coal, you have equipment in your coal uh, power plant, plant that uh, sprays uh, calcium carbonate limestone pa uh, solution powder into the smokestack to remove um, sulfur emissions. Okay. Sulfur is a tiny component of coal emissions. And so it's a, it's a marketing gimmick. There's no such thing as clean coal. If you're talking about CO2, if you're talking about coal ash, heavy metals, mer mercury, lead, cadmium, uranium, thorium, and radium in the coal ash, which makes coal radioactive, 100 times more radioactive than a nuclear power plant. And that was said by Professor Steve Chu, Secretary Steve Chu, the first energy secretary of Obama. Okay, now you have Secretary Alfonso Cusi who is going to the Bataan nuclear power plant. Why, why didn't you give him a tour? I mean, I was thinking uh, you'd be the perfect person. He has a lot of foreign visitors. Okay. So there's no time because my, uh, my tours, which I do once a month, I did once a month before the campaign period on my own coin. Yeah. I would uh, charter a bus yes, and bring I heard. Uh, students, yes, teachers, yes. Uh, engineering associations to, to tour the plant. It takes a few hours. Yeah. I can't rush it. Uh -oh. Otherwise, it's, it's useless for me. To okay. Explain. So uh, uh, do you feel optimistic that there's uh, hope for this with the Secretary of Energy himself going there to check it out? Not optimistic. I feel hopeful. Okay. Because at the end of the day, it's going to be the people who need to show the government that they want this, that they're tired of high prices, that they're tired of pollution, uh, and they're tired of wasting Katas OFW, buying fuel and then just burning it from abroad. Yeah. To say that, hey, we want a change, we want cheap power, because cheap power is our road to prosperity. So let's say they want to revive the Bataan nuclear power plant, hypothetically, if President Duterte agrees. Will it be against the law, the Clean no, Air Act? No, definitely not. It's In not. fact, the Constitution says that we should use nuclear technology for peaceful uses to benefit okay. uh, society. So it is not against the Philippine Constitution. Definitely not. How quick will President Duterte be able to use it? Four to five years, really? assuming, uh, let's say. assuming yeah. it becomes national government policy. Yeah. Uh, we have to figure out the uh, regulation. Yeah. But in other countries, you put up the regulator first, then you, they give you the approvals to build the nuclear power yeah. plant. Here yeah. we have a nuclear power yeah. plant, and our regulator, no regulator was disbanded. Of course. The PAE. Yeah. We need something to say that the findings of PAE, once validated by a new group, will be considered valid. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. So, so that we can fast track this. Okay. So, so if it is, you put up a regulator, and let's say President Duterte says, okay, I am convinced, he makes the argument, we revive the Bataan nuclear power plant. This is not something we Four will see. Four years, Paul, to five. He, we will not see it in his term. We will. You, you we can if it starts right away. Uh -oh. uh, actually, the last administration could have had it running before the end of their term if they had started right away. But Fukushima intervened. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah. It's a misfortunate that we suffer okay. the consequences of somebody else's action. Now, have you been invited to attend the, the uh, Senate Committee on, no, on Energy? No, I was invited to attend the uh, conference of the IAEA yeah. now. I was uh, uh, a spectator. And um, a very good one, very good. Mm -hmm. I learned a lot. No, but then clearly this will have to go through the Senate. I was called by some staff members yeah. at the Senate uh, asking if I'm willing to present. I said, yes, I am. Yes. But they have not scheduled it yet. Uh -oh. All right. Last words, Mark. Clearly we'll be seeing you again. Huh? Yeah. Because if the Duterte administration pushes through, with the, it really depends on, on how serious they are. Then you'll be speaking more clearly and making the argument. Yeah. Uh, Karen, all I can say to our audience is that uh, nuclear is the cleanest energy. Uh, a nuclear plant anywhere is less carbon dioxide and pollution everywhere. Uh, it is the cheapest in the Philippine context uh, form of energy. Uh, the United States uh, cost per kilowatt hour is uh, three U.S. cents. That's less than one peso and 50 centavos yeah, per kilo yeah. wholesale. And uh, it is the safest uh, uh, power generating technology ever de devised by humankind. We should, we ought to, we owe it to ourselves for our prosperity to have cheap, clean, and abundant power. All right. Mar